Good Friday morning, everyone. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. In today's video, we'll be focusing on a severe weather outbreak likely to occur this weekend from the Southern Plains eastward to the Tennessee Valley. And this does include all three hazards of large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes. And then we'll focus on a major pattern shift with extreme heat building and the severe weather threat shifting further to the north into the Midwest and the Ohio Valley valley later into june and then the tropics do they remain quiet and how long do they remain quiet through mid-june we'll answer those details later on in today's video but over today, we're still seeing that significant trough across eastern Canada and New England as of today with that ridge anchored across western Canada here as we go through the day today. And you do see that reflected on our temperatures. These are your high temperatures by this afternoon. We're back into the 60s for highs across Maine and much of New England under the influence of that trough across the northeast. But with that ridge in place across Western Canada, we're going to be seeing more return flow across portions of the Great Plains. So we'll be well into the 80s, if not the 90s out here. And yes, even some lower 100s can be expected down here into South Central Texas into the Rio Grande Valley as we get into this afternoon. But as we get into this weekend, a fairly significant trough, and this is the trough we've been talking about for quite some time. This is part of a recurving typhoon that did trek across the Pacific Ocean and this is finally making inroads into the western United States this weekend and this really amplifies the subtropical jet as we go into early next week on Monday June 12th look at that upper level low across the Great Lakes region and then that significant jet streak across the southern United States as we go into late this weekend and early next week. And what this means is that severe weather is coming back with a vengeance. So as we go into this afternoon, we have a marginal risk of severe storms in a couple of areas. The main area we're watching are across the southern plains here into eastern Colorado, Kansas, getting into Oklahoma and west Texas. But we also do have a marginal risk across far southern Georgia and parts of Florida later on today. But the main area of concern will be on Saturday, June 10th, tomorrow. The Storm Prediction Center has gone ahead and increased the threat for severe weather to a level three enhanced risk across northeast Texas, getting into southeastern Oklahoma, southwestern parts of Arkansas, and northwestern Louisiana. This does include the Dallas-Fort Worth area eastward toward Texarkana and Shreveport on Saturday. And we do have the threat for some significant two-inch or larger type of hailstones. This is greater than golf ball size across the Ardmore, Oklahoma area, Dallas, Fort Worth, and around portions of the Denton, Texas region on Saturday. But we still could have some generalized quarter to half dollar size hail possible further to the east across the Shreveport area, getting into Alexandria, Louisiana, Lake Charles, and then down here toward the Houston region as well. And this does come at the threat for some tornadoes across portions of North Texas and up near the Red River again across Ardmore, Oklahoma and down into Wichita Falls Fort Worth and Dallas here as well as we go into your Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening and you can see the storms really starting to billow up across North and East Texas as we get into Saturday afternoon and especially by Saturday evening these discrete supercells that could be producing some very significant significant hail over two inches in diameter and we could also be seeing some tornadoes with this and damaging winds in excess of 70 miles per hour so definitely be on the lookout on Saturday afternoon and evening across the southern plains and then we're not done yet on Sunday this all pushes further to the east with that significant trough and jet streak moving across the Tennessee Valley. That's where we have a level 2 out of 5 in the yellow. That is a slight risk for severe storms across southern Illinois, western Kentucky, middle and western Tennessee, northwestern Alabama, northern Mississippi, getting into the boot hills here of Missouri and also into portion of Arkansas. This does include the Little Rock area getting up here just in towards the Memphis area 
area, Nashville, and up and toward Paducah, Kentucky on Sunday. So definitely looking at the main modes for damaging winds and large hail. However, a couple of tornadoes will be possible on Sunday. No matter how you slice it, though, some beneficial rains are expected from today through early next week on Monday morning on June 12th. Definitely seeing that northwest flow alive and prevalent across the middle of the country. We're definitely seeing some decent rains from Montana down through the Dakotas into portions of Nebraska. But more importantly, some decent rains up here into the Midwest where they are desperately needing it for the corn crops and the bean crops up here in toward Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois, and Indiana. Definitely seeing some decent rains of a half an inch and upwards of an inch of rain over this weekend with that upper level low. And like I said, it's beneficial rains. We're seeing moderate drought developing rapidly across the Midwest and the Ohio Valley, even parts of the Mid-Atlantic as we go through this last drought update here yesterday on Thursday, June 8th. So definitely seeing that um, helping out with the rainfall moving in with this moderate drought developing. So hopefully we can chip away at the drought going in towards the middle of June. But if you like these detailed weather breakdowns, be sure to press the subscribe button down below. I do post most days at 9 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Um, you can find updates across southern Canada, the United States, and the tropics on this channel. So definitely be sure to press the subscribe button down below. It is free to do. And it's also very important to press the like button, the thumbs up button down below the video. It helps out more than you know, and I appreciate that as well. And But going through the long range period here, into the middle of June and into the third week in June, from June 15th through Father's Day weekend and into June 22nd time frame, it is all about the extreme heat. And it will be building in a big way across the southern plains and the Gulf Coast states initially as we go into that third week there in June. But it takes off and moves further north as we round out the month through June 30th. Yeah, this is going to be a massive ridge and it will be anchored across the southern and southeastern United States to get through the end there of June. So looking at the temperatures with this building ridge, looking here at the middle of next week on Wednesday, June 14th. Yeah, triple digit heat widespread across West Central and Southern Texas here. Lots of 90s to be felt from the Carolinas back into Georgia, Florida, and the Gulf Coast states, and some heat building across the upper Midwest, but just marginally so. We're only into the upper 80s on Wednesday, but then as we go into Friday, getting into the opening stages of Father's Day weekend, yes, more 90s, triple digit heat down here, especially into the Rio Grande Valley and northern Mexico on Friday, and then on Sunday, Father's Day itself on June 18th, the heat just builds further to the north rapidly into the Midwest, the Missouri Valley and portions of the Ohio Valley with more of the 80s, 90s, and yes, more triple digits, especially into Texas as we go into Father's Day itself on Sunday. Looking at the rainfall prospects for the middle of the month on June 15th through the 22nd, it looks like the rain will be shifting further to the north. Thankfully, across the upper Midwest, they still will need a good drink of water even after seeing some decent rains this weekend. We will be seeing more opportunities moving into the third week in June, and that could move down the northwest flow into portions of the Ohio Valley, the Tennessee Valley, and the southeast as well, getting in on the action into the third week in June. And we, this is a little bit more of a concern. So with a stronger trough moving in across the west coast, up and over this ridge, there's going to be a fairly amplified mid-level jet moving here across the Rockies and over the top here through the Midwest and Ohio Valley. And it's always concerning when you see this building instability very strong up here in to places like Nebraska, Iowa, and Central Illinois towards the middle and end there of June toward the 15th and 22nd time frame. I do think severe weather becomes more likely across the eastern Dakotas, much of Minnesota, like the Twin Cities region, down into the UP of Michigan and Wisconsin, Green Bay, Madison, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, those areas watch out for the severe weather towards that Father's Day weekend time frame, and then that will sneak into the southeast toward Detroit, getting in toward the Fort Wayne, Indiana area, and Columbus, Ohio, as we get through that 15th and 22nd time frame. 
but it is also possible further to the south into places like southern Indiana, southern Illinois, getting into Kentucky and portions of West Virginia through that time frame. But as we get into the June 23rd through 30th time frame, that shifts just a little bit further to the south. The ridge on the northern periphery of that starts to break down just a little bit, and you start to see still a stronger signal of a mid-level jet over top of that ridge, and the instability is going nowhere. We still have it across the the lower Midwest and the Ohio Valley parts of the Missouri Valley to round out the month there of June. So I think the severe weather threat all just shifts a little bit further to the south by maybe a state or two into cross portions of Iowa, Wisconsin, much of Illinois, getting into Indiana, Kentucky, and parts of Tennessee will likely see that from June 23rd through the 30th. And this could include the potential of a derecho pattern. So we definitely have to continue to watch that as we get into the middle and latter portion of the month definitely concerning with a lot of the heat building to the south and an amplified jet stream over the top that would be a classic signal for a favorable derecho pattern as we get toward the end of the month so we will be watching that as well and turning to the tropics over the next seven days it is absolutely quiet across the tropical Atlantic the Caribbean and the Gulf as that dominating Bermuda high continues across the central Atlantic Ocean and across the eastern pacific as well the next seven days very quiet so definitely seeing a nice relief from the tropics continuing as we go through the next week as well well if you want additional weather forecast updates here in addition to this video and my channel be sure to press the description down below the video here and follow me on twitter at hweather420 i do update on that fairly frequently so i appreciate that as well otherwise thank you so much for watching today's video this morning this afternoon whenever you're watching it I appreciate that as well. Be sure to press the like button, the thumbs up button down below the video. Leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. I'll get to those later on today. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new and hit the notification bell to get all of my daily weather forecast updates on this channel. Have a great Friday, everybody. A great weekend, and I will see you all in the next video.